Hey guys, welcome back to Bosch Gaming. Um, got another video here for you today. Sorry it's been a long time since I've done one. I haven't had any uh, new hardware to review, so that's the reason why. Um, today's not a review. Uh, I'm actually just doing some modifications to the case, or just changing out some fans and uh, trying to make it look pretty. I've got a, a LAN party game thing to go to this weekend, so I want the case to look nice. And it's in dire need of some tidying up. I'll run through some of the things that I'm going to change. Um, I've got two NZXT rifle bearing 200mm uh, uh, fans at the top here and a 120 at the back and I've got nothing in the front at the moment um, so I'm going to change that. I'm going to put a bit Phoenix Spectre red LED 140mm uh, fan in the front and I'm going to use these two 200mm red LED ones up the top and I'm going to replace, I've got some cold cathodes in here, one down the bottom here, one on the side here. Um, I'm going to replace that with a red LED strip because they're just much better and much less ugly. Um, so I'll be able to get rid of some of the cables in here and everything. There's a converter here and a little switch. A little bit of dust in here that I really want to get rid of as well. Um, I've also got a 120 bit Phoenix Spectre red LED fan that's going to go on the back here to replace the NZXT one. And also, I'm just going to change some of the cables here. Um, so I've got two 6-pin connectors for my GTX 670. And I've also got the 24-pin ATX cable as well that I'm going to be replacing. Which I'll give you a closer look at because I really like these. Never mind. Took them off the ground. So I'll give you a closer look at this because these are really, really nice looking braided cables. They're really well done. They are hard to fit. It takes a bit of force to get them in. Especially the... Uh, the 24 pin ATX cable, um, but the braiding on them is really good. You can see a bit of a closer look there. So, hopefully, that'll look quite nice sitting in the case. And I've only replaced those three because they're really the only ones that you're going to see from the PSU from the side window that I've got in there. So, yeah, I'll have the 24 pin and the two PCIe connectors there. I'm going to do a bit of cable tidying down here because it's a bit of a mess. And um, sorry, and also get rid of this hard disk drive cage because I'm not using it. Doesn't need to be there, so I'll get rid of that, tidy it up. Um, I might even get rid of my USB 3 uh, rear I/O thingamajig because I, I haven't really got any use for it. If I use USB 3, I'll just use them from the motherboard. Um, so yeah, I'll get rid of that as well, just to tidy up the cables and make it look a little bit more nice. And uh, well, I'll get started, and as I progress, I'll, I'll probably show you a little bit more. Okay. So just while I'm working on it, I thought I'd open it up back and um, and show you the cabling here. Um, it's not the tiniest in the world, it's not too bad. Uh, it could be a lot, a lot neater. Um, however, yeah, I'd, I'll have a better opportunity to tidy some of this up because I'm obviously, the ATX cable here is going to have to I'll probably run this up and around the back there because I'm ha have some extra length using the uh, the extension cables from BitPhoenix, um, and I'll probably do the same with the PCIe connectors and even come through the same grommet here so you can really see the the red braided cables. So I think that'll look a little bit better. So this needs a lot of tidying up. Um, yeah, these are gonna have to come up and around with the ATX um, just with that extra length there. Uh, also, I'll be removing that hard disk drive cage like I said so that'll provide a little bit of room down here as well for me to run things through um, again I did this a long time ago and I didn't put as much effort as I probably should have into it um, which now leaves me with quite a bit of work to do uh, it's still not going to look fantastic I'm not going to go absolutely nuts with this thing so long as you can't really see the case inside the case with the cables um, I'm not going to be too phased about the back so long as I've got enough room to actually shut the case um, so I will continue on. Actually, one thing I will, uh, yeah, I will talk about the back of the case of the NZXT Phantom. This is a full tower one, not the 410. Um, down here, with that removable disk drive cage, it actually provides a bit of room for cabling, um, which I'm going to find pretty handy pretty soon. Um, as well as down here, the cutout's really, really large, I've noticed, compared to other cases. Um, whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I mean, I, I personally think it's a good thing. You usually especially the amount of cables that I'm running in this thing and if you're going to run SLI or Crossfire you'd need even more um, need a lot of room to get all these things through and having that extra option over here is probably not such a bad thing 
Um, the cutout for it, uh, this is, I mean, this case came out prior to the X79 boards, so naturally the cutout with it here uh, isn't much good for my X79 board. It only just fits in there, as you can see, with that backplate on there. Um, however, on any Z77, P67, Z68, or any um, 990FX chipset ones, or whatever, um, it'll be fine because it'll be sitting more over here because the dim slots aren't on both sides. Um, anyway, I've talked probably a little bit too much um, and I'll, I'll keep moving, I'll keep building. Alright, so I've taken all the panels off, taken all the fans out and everything like that, um, trying to get rid of most of the dust that's in there at the moment. I've got rid of the graphics card for the time being as well just to make life a little bit easier with working around all this kind of stuff. So I've just got to Take these back, reroute them, same with the ATX cable there, uh, fix up this mess that's down here as well. Uh, but as you can see, removing that hard disk drive cage has given me bucket loads more room, so that's good. Um, there's quite a bit of dust in there, really. Uh, if I was going to give some thoughts before I go ahead with this, it's probably going to be a little bit too much red, uh, considering the cables are red, the case is red, the cooler's red, uh, I've got red anodized heatsink uh, RAM in there. Um, with the red LED fans and the red LED strip that I'm putting in there, it's going to be very red. Um, whether that's a good thing or not, I don't know, leave your comments and feedback below, let me know what you think. Um, but I probably will honestly change this a little bit further down the track um, to incorporate all white LEDs, but leave the... Oh, actually, no, yeah, probably... Yeah, white LEDs... Um, I'll be looking at upgrading the PSU sometime in the future because um, the AX 1200Is are out by Corsair which are very very nice PSUs um, and it would help with the reviews as well because I'll be able to um, keep an eye on the amount of uh, power draw that things have um, so yeah get the white cables with the, the AX 1200i and it should look really nice with the white LEDs and white braided cables I think but for the time being, it's red, and it's going to be very red, um, and that's the way it's going to stay for a little while yet. Anyway, again, I'm talking too much, so I've got a bit of work to do, and I'll see you a little bit sooner. Alright, so that's it all together now that I'm done. I've tidied it up a little bit. Uh, I've tidied up the back, which I'll show you in a sec as well. Um, as you can see, I've got the braided cables sitting in there nicely at the moment. Um, there is a red LED strip down here as well, it's a 30 centimeter one, also from BitPhoenix. Just basically everything I use for this kind of stuff is always BitPhoenix. They, they tend to do the best kind of uh, sort of little uh, case aesthetics mods sort of stuff. Um, a little bit of a wire here that I'm not too happy about running there, but it's not too bad. Um, <coughs> so yeah, the 120s in there, got the two 140s in there, uh, sorry, two uh, 200s in there, and 140 at the front. It did fit sort of weird in here. I've noticed it's a little bit odd um, with the NZXT Phantom. It didn't uh, had a different uh, bolt pattern, but never mind. I got them to squeeze it in there anyway. Hopefully, it won't make any noise because they're not actually bolted down. They're sort of in brackets at the moment. Um, I'll spin it around. We'll show you the back. It's not the best job in the world, but it'll do for the time being. Um, I haven't tried putting the side of the case on yet. Um, I imagine it's going to be a little bit difficult just with the ATX cable and all that kind of stuff, and the CPU cable and uh, the two PCIe connectors there. Um, that push down looks pretty flat. So that is the back of it. Hopefully um, it doesn't bulge out or anything. And there's a lot of cables to be running. Um, so yeah, it's not too bad. It'll do the trick. As long as it looks nice inside, I'm going to be happy. Um, so I'll get it back together, all with the, the panels on and everything, and we'll have a look at it. So there you go, it's up and running at the moment. Um, with the light on, you probably can't see a whole lot of what's going on. The, the red LED strip down the bottom is extremely bright though, that's really good. Um, the, uh, the red LED fans are not bad, they don't create a huge amount of light, but you don't really expect them to. Um, I probably will look in the bar, see if I can switch off these blue lights that I've got coming from the uh, the MSI uh, motherboard. Um, I'll put the side panel on, we'll see what it looks like. I don't have the 120mm fans hooked up to the side of this at the moment. Bear with me for a sec. Oh dear. Uh, just chuck one in for the time being, just to be quick. And I might actually turn the light off as well. 
get an idea of what it looks like. So yeah, there won't be this gaping hole here. There will be fans there. Um, that lights up pretty nice, actually. It's not too bad. Looks nice from here. Doesn't look too bad on the camera. Um, so yeah, there you have it. Uh, now that I'm sitting here talking in the dark, that's my system done. Um, except for the top here. There we go. Um, yeah, so I'll be taking this to the uh, the land party this week. Um, hopefully, we'll have some more content that's more surrounded by hardware and that kind of stuff. I'm expecting to see the GTX 650 hopefully soon, and same with the 660, uh, which would be nice to cover that middle ground that only only AMD's got at the moment. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you posted. Hopefully, we'll have something new soon. Um, sorry that this has been a bit of a dull one. Um, in the meantime, I've just been growing a beard. That's it. So thanks for watching. See you later, guys.